All right, welcome back to another vlog. So on Saturday, I did a club time trial. It was the Bike Manor 2 Club Centre Champs. The course was 25K. I don't actually have a time trial bike at the moment, so I just ran it with my road bike. I used my C50s because Maddie's going to use my C75 front wheel for our nationals, so I just thought I'll just use a road bike and just kind of Eddie Mooks it for a little bit. Here you go, Holly. Come on. But something really weird happened with the camera. I must have switched a setting or something, and it went all square, so the entire edit that I'm about to show you is film square, so hopefully you enjoy it. I kind of tried to edit it as if it's like a retro old like tape film, so I hope you enjoy. Welcome back to another video. Today we are in Rongatia, which is like 15, 20 minutes out of Palmerston North, and we're doing a club TT. So this is the bike manor too, like club champs. I'm not actually part of it. I'm have to wear my Masterson skin suit today. But I'm allowed to compete, but I'm not allowed to like, I don't get like one of the trophies or one of the medals if I podium, which I'm pretty sure I'm not going to, because I'm basically going Eddie Merck style today and running the road bike with the 50 millimeters on, because Maddie's got the 75. So I, so I basically just thought I'll just run the roadie and just see how we go. The only aero piece of kit that I've got is my uh, Team POC TT helmet, so I'll probably run this. So I'll probably just run this, and then we'll just see how we go. I'm gonna try and hold like 290 to 300 watts, which is pretty good for me, especially considering I've only done like a whole week of training, so we'll see how we go. TT is over and we took the cheeky dub for the under 23 men's. There was only one under 23 men, but I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna thank my mum, my dad, and also my parents. I wanna thank all my sponsors. I wanna thank all of you guys for supporting me. This is a big win. I haven't had a medal in a few years, so it's gonna go straight up on the wall in the garage. Now, in all seriousness, um, I was actually pretty happy with my TT. We'll go on to Strava and have a look at some stats. All right, so on Strava, I did, it was 38 minutes and 27 seconds, but I think I did it a little bit um, before I started. 25.4 kilometers i averaged 39.6 k an hour and before the start i said i wanted to average around 290 to 300 watts and i averaged 294 watts and my normalized was just under 300 watts so i'm pretty um happy with that it does show sometimes that it is good to take a bit of a break let your body recover especially when there's no racing on and then kind of step back into it All right, so for the observant viewer, you may be able to see behind me that I have changed the seat on the Scott Foil GT to the seat that I had on my uh, Cannondale Super 6 Evo here. Okay, so I know I said in my last video, I forgot over 500 likes, that I would change the handlebar tape to black on the Scott Ford GT. And that is 100% still an option, but I've just done this as a little bit of a teaser to kind of show you my vision of the white seat with the white bars. So I've changed my Cannondale back to black bar tape and it now has the full black Antares saddle on it, which was the original saddle that I had built this bike up with. And then a wee while ago when we first started this entire build, Maddie gave me this Physique Antares saddle, which is exactly the same saddle as that one there. Except obviously, as you can see, it just has the outside white and it has the inside like a black strip down the middle. He also has these really ugly uh, black lines in the middle of it. I'm pretty sure he just did that because he was kind of working on his position when he had the saddle on his bike. But let me know what you think now that it's got the white seat on it with the white handlebars. I personally think that this combo looks so much better because it's kind of got the black accent up there on the shifter and the black strip down the middle of the seat. And then, and then it's got the white on the seat to match with the white handlebar tape. And I just think it looks so, so good. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Obviously putting black handlebar tape is still an option. I did promise you guys I'd do it. But I do think it looks so, so good with the white accents on it because it is quite a light frame. So to all the people that wanted a black seat with the black handlebar tape, let me know in the comments down below if you think this is any better or if you still think it doesn't look that good and then I should change it. So let me know in the comments down below. So two days ago, I took this bike out for a bit of a ride with my mate Josh who's going to be doing a bit of riding with us this year. I think he's going to do the North Island series with me and like Tim Copeland's. So other than like the big circle of people that helped me build this bike and put it all together, like Matt, 
Maddie and Lasky. This is like the first person other than them who actually saw this bike in the flesh because I think it does look so much better in the flesh and I don't think the camera does it much justice. So I went out for a coffee ride with him the other day and I got a little bit of footage with his reaction on the bike and then a little bit of cool footage of the Scott Foil GT. Josh's house this will be the first time that he has seen the bike and the first time that someone outside like my circle of who helped me build it has seen this bike in person so I'm excited to see his reaction see what he thinks of it all right we got the Scott Foyle set up next to his tarmac now let's see what he thinks how's it going how are you first time seeing it well, that's pretty sick oh, eh? GT40 in all its glory in all its glory that's beautiful, yeah have a good look around it there's so many like small details about it that you can't really see on the camera I'm dark at the, at, the, at the fans, eh? I love the white bars, eh? Yeah, so I just changed the seat to the white seat that I had on my Cannondale. It's controversial. That is controversial. I think it looks pretty cool mm -hmm. like that, eh? Alright, how far have we gone? Alright, we've been riding for an hour 14, just under 35k, and we've made it with the GT and the tarmac to the coffee shop. read the title of this video you'll know that I've been up to no good again we've already got almost eight bikes in the shed I may or may not have added another one and this one is gonna be sick I've been talking about getting this bike for a long time and I finally picked one up yesterday I got an absolute steal on it all right and I've picked up this giant Trinity TT bike time trial rig obviously it is a giant trinity i'm not sure exactly what year it is it's definitely a few years old now because i picked it up pretty cheap so this is a really really good frame obviously it's pretty aero because if you look on the giant website they're basically still using the exact same geometry on this nothing has changed even from whenever this one was made to the 2020 the latest model and it was really good for the build because it comes with the base bar it's already got all these big spaces and stuff so i can do the 2020 time trial look it also came with both the front and the rear brake, it came with a bottom bracket. It's got the seat post, the stem, everything's basically all ready to go and ready to be built up. So my idea for the build is 11 speed Ultegra Di2. It's obviously a pretty bulletproof group set, I use it on my road bike. And when you're dealing with time trial bikes and all the hidden cables and stuff, hey, basically cables on a time trial bike should just be a no-go, it's a complete disaster. So that's why I'm opting in for DI2 for this build, and obviously because DI2 is just better. But obviously the big question on most of your mind, are we going to be taking the Trinity to Frameworks Bike Painting in Auckland to see Matt, the same guy that did the Scott Foil GT? Um, I think yes. So I have a few ideas of what I think would look really cool in painting this bike, but I'm really interested to see what you guys think. Let me know your ideas in the comments down below. We obviously want to do something on par or even a little bit better than the Ford GT build. Really original, not many people have done it. So leave your comments down below and I'm going to sift through those and we're going to send this off in probably the next week, week and a half. So now that we've got another bike in the shed, we're going to do a bit of a shed tour and see how many bikes we've got in here. So we've still got the Merida, one. We've got the Specialized Roubaix, that's number two. We have the Avanti Chrono, that's number three. We have my Cannondale race bike, that's number four. And in number five, we have the Scott Foil GT40 build. So these are all the built bikes on the wall. And number six, we have the Marcello, which is presumably being built. And then in number seven, we have the Specialized Mountain Bike that still needs the puncture to be repaired. And then in number eight, we have the Chapter 2 Terry frame, which um, we are still working out what to do with. And then last but not least, we have the Giant Trinity coming in at number nine so we currently have nine bikes in the shed i think six of them are rideable and then three of them are still like frames that need to be built up and if i'm gonna let you in on a little secret there may or may not be another frame on its way
Mm. All right, and this is basically what the Trinity looks like with the um, Dura C50s on. I haven't got the 75s at the moment because Manny still has them, but this is basically a little bit of a teaser of what it's going to look like. 